guys are actually pretty cool. But that's a tench, actually. A, uh, oh my not gosh. sure how old. Um, they seem to, to to grow quite quick. Um, but they're a pretty fish. They have the coloring, kind of that that greenish bronze, uh, like a smallmouth bass would. Yeah. Um, Is it the, a? Uh, it's not a sucker. Not a sucker. The nope. way it's holding it's, uh, its mouth, it's. It's in the minnow family, okay. and um, there's over in Plymouth is Lake Winfield, and Lake Winfield somehow, somebody must have put them in years and years ago, had a population and still does of tench, and the um, and then back in the, I think it was around 98, 99, we saw our first one uh, here in yeah. Bantam, and now the... Uh, they're all over the place in Bantam. When you come out at night, you can actually, uh, you'll see them just lying along the the, uh, the bottom of the lake when we have the underwater lights on. And there's hundreds and hundreds and well, probably more like thousands of them. Primarily, they're insect eaters and uh, and I think they also feed on, uh, on plants, but the ones that I have had in a fish tank, I brought a small one back, actually, I've got one in the tank at home now, and they will readily feed on, uh, um, on dead fish. They're somewhat of a scavenger by the way it looks, because yeah. um, our tank at, the, at home is very much like living in a lake. It's, it's a hard tank to survive in. Um, <laughs> small with predators, by the time we're done at the end of the year, it's one big yeah, predator one is all. And, uh, yeah, I've been through that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an interesting environment in there. Uh, the tench will definitely feed on uh, on dead fish. I've never one, once seen it feed on a live fish. Okay. Um, well, that's interesting. And the, uh, but that was probably my guess is two or three years old. Um, but it seems like at the end of their first year, they get up about you know maybe seven eight inches or so. And so I'm I'm guessing that's probably two maybe three. But what we're not seeing this year out here, typically in that net, we would have gotten a dozen to 14 or more, you know, really, really, truly big tench. Um, not by European standards, but right. by our standards here. Right. Um, and we still haven't done enough aging on them to, to get a good idea of, of how fast they grow at, you know, larger sizes. And so is the thinking that they are classified as uh, an invasive? Yeah, at least non-native, um, okay. and it would seem like by how fast the numbers took off in Bantam, you would call them an invasive, mm -hmm. but we don't know what the interaction is right. between other fish. Right. Um, they grew up, obviously being a European fish, um, in lakes with pike. So they're used to having big toothy predators around, yeah. and it would have, when you because uh, I actually brought one home and ate it just to see what it was going to be like. And it tasted pretty good, actually, oh. once you get by all the bones. Their skin is incredibly thick. It's like leather. And, again, you'd almost think that that is an adaptation to growing up in a, in a lake with, you know, a bunch of big toothy critters. Yeah. And yeah. so I think they, they obviously grow fairly quick. Um, that also might be an adaptation to um, uh, getting above a size that can easily be eaten. Yeah. They have a lot of protection. Um, they're not a, they don't appear to be a fast swimmer, although watching the one in the tank, when they need to move, they really, really, for short distances, they can, they can explode. Don't know, you know what the interactions are with other fish in the lake. So far, we, we haven't seen any, any negative impacts. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that, that you can say is that any lake can only support just so many pounds of fish. Um, biomass is biomass, whether it's yellow perch or whether it's pike or whether it's trout or, or whatever. It can only support just so much. And the tench being able to get up to a large size and being that, you know, uh, in such high numbers, uh, my thinking is, is that they are obviously... Um, you know, uh, inhabiting a niche in this lake that uh, either other fish weren't exploiting and they're able to, but now you're filling a lot of the biomass in Bantam Lake right. with tech, tench flesh. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what that's going to mean 10 years from now, Anybody your guess, guess is as good as mine. The numbers of large tench that are in here, we don't know where those 
you know, 10,000 little guys are that are that are spawned this season. Yeah. Um, and we've never done any work to really try to identify it. Yeah. At some point, we're probably going to have to. Somewhere in this system <laughs> are a lot of little teeny yeah. tetch. Oh, yes. And who knows where.